So, this is my PVC clarinet. Um, I built it myself, obviously, for this project. Oh, sorry, I gotta put it in playing mode here. So, my clarinet, made from PVC, and it uses a tenor saxophone mouthpiece in order to produce sound, and it's 17 and a half inches long on this tube here. So, in order to produce sound with any woodwind instrument, what you have to do is you have to blow through a mouthpiece or across the top of a tube. And what that does is it creates a vibrating column of sound inside the tube that rotates. And when it comes out the end of the tube, it makes a sound. Now, how you determine what sound that is, is based on the length of the tube. Because the velocity of air, I believe, is equal to the frequency divided by four times the length of the tube. So this tube here, for example, is tuned to C. And what that means is when I blow into it using my mouthpiece, when I have all the holes covered so that the air goes straight down to the bottom, it escapes and that's a C. And when I open up holes all along the clarinet, it changes the pitch of the note so it gets higher because the, sh the air distance it has to travel is shorter. And when I cover them all up, then it gets longer. So the pitch changes in that way. Now, what I did to build this thing, um, I went to Lowe's. I bought a um, like eight feet of PVC, I believe. And I blew into it with the mouthpiece. And pretty much um, what happened was I discovered it was a very low A. And using this uh, formula I got from Mr. Spencer, which is amplitude is equal to length squared times frequency of the pitch. I figured out that um, the amplitude is like 160, 100,000, which is, it's, cra it's a crazy big number. But um, I also figured out the frequency of a C is 523.5 hertz. So what I did is I reverse engineered that formula and I figured out the length is 17 and a half inches. So, using a power saw, I cut this out of the big pipe, and now I have this little tiny pipe here. Then I had to figure out where all the, all the holes had to go on it so I could get different notes out. And so I took the same formula and I figured out where an E went, where a D went, and all the other notes in a C scale. And I carved them in here, and I have seven holes on it. One on the back, and uh, six on the front. And... I measured those out, so it's two inches from the one on the back of it. Uh, five, seven, nine, one, eleven and a half, and thirteen from the top of the pipe all the way down. And I took a just a power drill, put a third of an inch drill head on it, and drilled some holes in the sucker, and that's how I got all the holes on it. So it's tuned to C, like I said before. If I cover all the holes on here. I can play a scale real quick. Not a full scale though because I literally just learned how to play and it'll start breaking in the range just because it's a very hard instrument. But um, I also learned how to play uh, when the saints go marching in on this thing. Thank you.